A new beginning. After their unexpected and intense encounter, Michelle and Sharon felt a whirlwind of emotions. It had been a day full of confusion and revelation, but as they settled into a quieter, more serene moment, the room was filled with a gentle warmth. The afternoon sun cast a soft glow through the curtains, illuminating the room with a golden light. Michelle and Sharon were now lying side by side on the bed, the afterglow of their shared experience lingering in the air. Michelle rested her head on Sharon's shoulder, feeling a sense of calm and contentment she hadn't anticipated. Sharon stroked Michelle's hair tenderly, her fingers gently grazing Michelle's scalp. I'm really glad we did this, Sharon said softly, her voice filled with sincerity. Michelle looked up, meeting Sharon's gaze. Me too. I didn't expect things to turn out this way, but it felt right. I feel like I've known you for longer than just today. Sharon smiled, her eyes sparkling with affection. I feel the same. It's like meeting you was meant to happen. You make me feel so comfortable and understood. Michelle's heart fluttered at Sharon's words. She leaned in, pressing a soft kiss to Sharon's lips, a kiss that was gentle and full of warmth. I've never felt this way before. It's like we're in our own little world. Sharon responded to the kiss with equal tenderness, her hands cupping Michelle's face. Let's make the most of this world we've found. I want to get to know you even better. Share more moments like this. They stayed in bed for a while, talking about their dreams, their fears, and their favorite things. Michelle learned that Sharon loved reading romance novels and had a passion for painting, while Sharon discovered Michelle's love for baking and her dream of traveling the world. As the sun began to set, casting a warm orange hue across the room, Sharon suggested they go for a walk. Let's take a break from everything here and enjoy the evening. I know a beautiful park nearby. Michelle agreed with a bright smile. That sounds perfect. I'd love that. They got dressed, the comfortable silence between them filled with shared smiles and occasional glances. As they walked hand in hand to the park, the cool evening air was refreshing, and the city lights began to twinkle around them. The park was peaceful, with a gentle breeze rustling the leaves and the faint scent of blooming flowers in the air. They strolled along the winding paths, stopping occasionally to admire the scenery or share a quiet laugh. They found a cozy bench under a large oak tree, where they sat and watched the stars begin to appear in the twilight sky. Sharon wrapped an arm around Michelle, pulling her close. Do you believe in fate? Sharon asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Michelle snuggled closer, resting her head on Sharon's shoulder. I don't know, but I do believe that some moments are meant to be cherished, and this feels like one of those moments. Sharon kissed the top of Michelle's head, her heart full of affection. I couldn't agree more. I'm excited to see where this journey takes us. As they sat there, Sharon gently took Michelle's hand and held it against her heart. Every moment with you feels like a beautiful discovery. It's like I'm finding pieces of myself I didn't even know were missing. Michelle's eyes glistened with emotion. You make me feel seen, Sharon, like I'm truly understood for who I am. Sharon smiled softly, her eyes filled with tenderness. You're so special to me. I've never felt this way before. It's like my heart found a home in you. They sat in comfortable silence, savoring the closeness and the quiet beauty of the night. The stars above seemed to twinkle brighter, reflecting the feelings they were sharing. Sharon leaned in and whispered, I want to hold on to this moment forever. Michelle's breath caught as she looked into Sharon's eyes. Me too. Let's make a promise to always cherish what we have and never let it fade. Sharon nodded, her voice filled with warmth. I promise, we'll build something beautiful together, no matter what. They shared a lingering tender kiss, their hearts beating in sync. 
The kiss was slow and full of promise, conveying everything words couldn't express. When they finally pulled away, both of them felt an even deeper connection. As they walked back to Michelle's house, hand in hand, their fingers intertwined, they knew that this was just the beginning of a journey filled with love and discovery. The evening had solidified their bond, turning a moment of surprise into a lasting promise of affection. When they reached Michelle's house, they stood together at the door, gazing into each other's eyes. Michelle softly traced the outline of Sharon's face with her fingers. I can't wait to see you again. Sharon's smile was radiant. Me neither. Until then, let's hold on to tonight and remember it always. With a final tender kiss, they said their goodbyes, each of them feeling a profound sense of hope and excitement for the future. Building dreams together. The days that followed were a whirlwind of newfound intimacy and shared moments. Michelle and Sharon's connection deepened with each passing day, each encounter filled with warmth and genuine affection. One sunny Saturday morning, Michelle woke up to find a text from Sharon that read, Good morning. I have a surprise planned for us today. Be ready by 10. Michelle's heart skipped a beat. She had quickly come to cherish these thoughtful surprises, and she was excited to see what Sharon had planned. As the clock struck 10, Michelle was dressed and ready, her anticipation growing. Sharon arrived at Michelle's doorstep with a bright smile and a picnic basket in hand. Surprise, she said cheerfully. We're going to the park for a picnic. Michelle's face lit up. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait. They headed to the park, where Sharon had picked out a beautiful spot beneath a large, flowering cherry tree. The ground was covered with a soft blanket, and a basket full of delicious food was spread out before them. As they settled down on the blanket, Sharon served a variety of homemade treats, including sandwiches, fruit, and pastries. They chatted animatedly about everything from their favorite books to their future aspirations, their laughter mingling with the soft rustle of the leaves above. Sharon handed Michelle a small wrapped gift. I wanted to give you something, she said, her cheeks slightly flushed. Michelle unwrapped it carefully to reveal a beautiful silver locket. Inside was a tiny photo of the two of them together, taken from a selfie they had shared during one of their earlier dates. It's beautiful, Sharon, Michelle said, her voice choked with emotion. Thank you. Sharon took Michelle's hand and kissed it gently. I wanted you to have something to remind you of how special you are to me. Michelle's eyes sparkled with happiness. I love it. I'll cherish it always. They spent the rest of the afternoon enjoying each other's company, lying on the blanket and watching the clouds drift by. Sharon traced shapes in the sky with her fingers, and Michelle nestled close, her head resting on Sharon's shoulder. As the sun began to set, casting a golden hue over the park, Sharon turned to Michelle with a soft smile. I've been thinking a lot about us lately, I feel like we're building something really special together. Michelle's heart swelled with affection. I feel the same way. It's like everything is falling into place. I've never felt this way before. Sharon took Michelle's hand and looked into her eyes with sincerity. I want to be with you not just today or tomorrow, but for as long as we can. I see a future with you, full of love and happiness. Michelle's eyes misted with emotion. I want that too. I can't imagine my life without you now. They shared a tender kiss, their lips meeting in a slow, loving embrace. As they pulled away, Sharon took out her phone and showed Michelle a photo of a cozy cabin in the countryside. I was thinking, maybe we could spend a weekend there sometime, just the two of us, escaping the hustle and bustle of the city. Michelle's eyes lit up with excitement. That sounds perfect. I'd love that. The prospect of a weekend getaway filled them both with anticipation. 
As they packed up their picnic and headed back to Michelle's house, they walked hand in hand, the bond between them growing stronger with each step. Back at Michelle's house, they spent the evening cuddled up on the couch, watching a movie and talking about their dreams for the future. Sharon gently brushed Michelle's hair away from her face, her touch tender and affectionate. Do you ever think about where you'll be in five or 10 years? Sharon asked softly. Michelle snuggled closer, her heart full. Sometimes, but with you by my side, I feel like the future is full of possibilities. I want to build a life with you, full of love and adventure. Sharon's eyes sparkled with happiness. That sounds like a dream come true. They shared another tender kiss, their hearts in perfect harmony. As they held each other close, they knew that they were building something truly beautiful together, something that would last a lifetime.